All right, in this video, I'm gonna go through my stock photo sales for June. I know this is a little bit late. I typically post this a bit early, but I've just been really busy, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, with the Photoloo app and the Photoloo website. Again, we've had a lot of good things happening there, but it's kept me from creating the videos as quickly as I wanted to. But in this video, I will go through all my sales in June. I'm gonna talk about the average sale for the sites in June, as well as kind of some more insights into the stock industry. Also talk about how the changes to the Shutterstock earnings affected my revenue as well. So let's just get into it. All right, number one site this month was Alamy with $35. Um, typically my number one site is a lot higher than $35, so it wasn't a great month um, overall for any big sites or big sales. Alamy is the type of site that actually most of the time doesn't even make it on my list. Um, it's one of those sites where you know I'll get one $35 sale you know, once every six months or even sometimes once a year. So glad that it came in this month. Um, it was just basically for one sale of one photo that I have up there. Okay. Number two on the list was Adobe stock. Now this is promising because Adobe stock in June, I actually made more money than I had in March and April combined. So Adobe stock was really slacking. Like once COVID hit, Adobe stock kind of went really downhill for me. And what I'm seeing this past month is it's starting to rebound, which is really nice because especially with Shutterstock going down, I was hoping that Adobe stock would kind of stay higher in the list and it looks like it's headed in that direction again after a couple of really bad months. All right, next on my list is free pick with like $25. Now, although it's number three on my list, I'm actually most excited about this site. The reason is, is that I just learned about this site a couple of uh, months ago, and I've only got a very small portion of my portfolio up there. So there's a lot of sites that we're gonna go down later in the list where I've got like 500, 600 photos uploaded there. Free pick, I've only got a couple hundred and it's number three. Okay. Um, now, I, again, I just learned about this site. I just got signed up and like, you know, approved and everything. Um, they did make me jump through some hoops um, that I hadn't had to jump through before um, for some of the other stock sites. They asked for this residence certificate. I think it's because they're like a European country and I didn't know what that was, but their support was actually pretty helpful. I reached out to them and I asked like, you know, I'm Canadian, what's a residence certificate? So they sent me some examples. And one of the examples that they sent me was just like a CRA, like a Canadian revenue agency, a tax form, the first page of the tax form. not like you know something that the government sends you back something that you fill out to send to the government so all I had to end up doing was I took a tax form from the website entered in my address and phone number I didn't even put my social insurance number on it sent that to them so just a form that I filled out myself and sent to them and they accepted it um, which is great because I don't you know I didn't know how I was gonna get a residence certificate um, so now I'm approved I'm approved to get paid I haven't received the payment yet but I'm pretty confident that I will get paid for the earnings that I'm reporting um, so my plan over the next month is to get more and more of my photos up on free pick and uh, you know I'm hoping to see better revenue there if you're interested in signing up for free pick, I would recommend it. I've got a link down in the description where you can basically go through it. It'll take you to the contributor page. You can sign up as a contributor for free pick and start putting up your photos there. Um, we're also, because of these good results and some other results that I've heard from other people asking for free pick, we are now, you know, moving free pick up on our list to add it to Fortaloo. So in the near future, we're hoping that um, we'll be able to set up Fortaloo so that, you you know, when you upload your photos to Fortaloo, FreePick is going to be the, I think it's what, eighth stock site that we'll be adding. So it'll go to FreePick as well. So again, really excited about that. All right, next on the list is 123RF. Again, pretty average, maybe slightly above average for 123RF um, this past month. Again, it's nice to see because a lot of the other sites are slumping down because of COVID or other reasons. So, you know, happy that, you know, 123RF, although it's a small number, is still pretty consistent. All right, next is Shutterstock. Oh, Shutterstock. <laughs> um, you know, my Shutterstock earnings, taking a look at this, were the lowest I've seen in many, many years um, for the month, right? And, you know, if you've been watching this channel or you've been following the stock industry in general, you'll know that there's a big change at Shutterstock where they changed the way the contributor earnings were going to be happening. And there's a lot of uproar around that because the minimum for a subscription purchase went from like 30 cents down to 10 cents. Right. So um, I did see a 
fairly significant drop in my Shutterstock sales over June. However, I can't really say right now whether that was 100% related to the way that Shutterstock did the subscriptions because I was seeing month over month drops pretty much since COVID started. Um, when COVID started, you know, a lot of my photos are um, travel photos or landscape photos that are typically used by the travel industry. So when COVID hit, the travel industry went down and my sales went down. That was expected. So it's difficult to see how much of this drop in revenue is related to the change in the way the payment structure is and how much is COVID related. You know, one of the things I did look at was what was my average sale? Okay, because the way that the changes work, you got paid more for on demand, but less for subscription. So I've actually got them written down here. Um, in 2019, the average sale on Shutterstock for me was 80 cents. All right. Now, or sorry, 2019, it was 80 cents. And this past month, it was 30 cents. So again, pretty significant drop. Not as low as 10 cents is what everybody's probably talking or raging about. You know, the average would be 10 cents. Well, it's not. It's 30 cents, but it is lower. Now, that being said, if I, again, if I look at my 2019, 37% of my revenue in 2019 came from subscription sales. Okay, so it was about a third. Now, if you look at last month, looking at it, 52% came from subscription sales. So I was getting a lot more subscription sales, which again, coming at a lower rate, in June than I typically do or typically was averaging last year. Typically I get a bit more through on demand. So it'll be interesting to see how things play out. Um, I do know because it's actually mid July when I'm recording this, I've already made more at mid July point on Shutterstock than I did all of June. Okay. So, you know, well, I can almost say that it's not going to stay that low. But that being said, you know, a lot of my photos are from Canada and British Columbia. And, you know, where I live right now in Canada, British Columbia, the tourism industry is starting to open up for local travel and companies are starting to advertise again. So, you know, again, that increase in July could be because of, you know, the COVID going, some of the restrictions going away and, you know, me getting more sales because of that. So I'll keep reporting on this month over month. Overall, Shutterstock, to be honest, I don't expect it to be number one or two anytime soon, right? Um, again, it's been going down for years, you know, a couple of years ago, it was always number one or two, but you know, it's being replaced by other sites, right? Adobe stock, I'm really hoping that that stays, you know, one or two. Pexels has been doing really well for me this month. Not so much, but you know, this year it's been doing very well. And again, free pick is one that I'm looking at as well too. So although Shutterstock is going down, I'm seeing other sites going up or adding other sites that are giving me more revenue, which should hopefully balance things out. All right, so Pexels is next on the list. It did okay in June, considering that they're all donation sites. Um, but again, it wasn't a top site like it has been some of the other months this year. Um, so again, a bit lower for Pexels, but still not bad. Now, when I put the $3 plus in there for the average uh, sale, that's the average donation, okay? So on average, the donation was three plus dollars, but that's not the average per download. I actually was able to track the downloads on Pexels last month, and I had over 100 thousand downloads. So, you know, the reason I'm telling you this is I get people in the comments, they'll say, oh, you know, I uploaded a photo to Pexels and, you know, it got a couple hundred downloads and not a single donation, so I removed them. Well, this kind of hopefully will give you an idea about the kind of scale you need to get to before you start making consistent donations. You know, if you look at it, you know, for every $1 in donations in June, I had 6,500 downloads from Pexels. So Pexels does take a bit of work to get, you know, to that point of getting that number of downloads a month. Once you get there, you can start making some consistent donations. Uh, if you look at it, I think I'm like 84th in the all time download list on Pexels. Um, you know what I mean? So that's why I get so many downloads. I'm in a bunch of lists and I'm, you know, high in the search results for search and search terms, obviously. So I get more downloads. Um, but that being said, there's 83 people that get a lot more downloads than me on the website. So they're, you know, I would expect that they're getting a lot more donations than I do. Right. And if it's anything like Google, right? Like if you're number 11 on Google search result, um, you know, your numbers are pretty low, but moving up in the top 10, once you get up to one, it's a massive increase. So I could expect that the people in the top 10, you know, are making significantly more off their Pexels donations. And I was actually looking at the list uh, the other day, and I know, you know, one of the people in the top 10, looks at these videos sometime. Um, so Scott, if you're watching this and you want to put a comment down below, you know, what you see about what your ratio is of downloads to um, donations, you know, I'd love to hear it and I'll go ahead and pin that to the top of the list so that everybody can see it. 
All right, going down the list for the rest of these sites, again, pretty poor performance, but these are never my top sites, so they just had a bad month, and again, they go up and down, which leaves me with a total revenue of $165. Again, not a great month, but not totally horrible considering uh, COVID, so, you know, I'll take it. Now, if you're wondering how I find the time to upload my photos to all these different sites, um, you know, Photoloo is the channel name, but Photoloo is also an app that we have for your, there's a website and there's a mobile phone version. And what it allows you to do is you upload your photo to the website or the app on your phone, and then the Photoloo app will distribute it to all these different stock sites. So when I upload, you know, a photo, I don't go and upload it individually to each one of these sites. I upload to Photoloo and then Photoloo distributes it to all the sites. So if that interests you, you know, go and take a look at uh, Photoloo. There's a free version of the app that you can use and upload five photos a week and there's also paid photos if you want to upload more. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go and subscribe. You know, everything on here is about making money with your photography. So if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up and best of luck selling your photos online.